All right, well, let's get started. You just won the uh, senior division. How's it feel? Oh, it's pretty fun. Um, it's always fun to get a W. Um, playing a new facility, Every, again, like I said earlier, everyone here was a wonderful host and hostess, and it's a beautiful um, piece of property. Okay, you said this was your first time at Stonehenge. Talk about coming down to Fairfield Glade and how this compares to some other places. Um, well, it was a four-hour drive. I didn't realize it was still in central time, mm -hmm. <laughs> coming from Indiana. Um, it's beautiful. You know, that lake out on 14 and 15, I would just get on a boat and stay there all the time. Yeah. It was um, an easy drive down, and now I'll be heading west on 40. to now. I'm going to go a different way home, mm -hmm. up through Nashville. Gotcha. Home. Okay, well, how'd you play through the two days? Um, I played okay. Um, had a little problem last night when it started to get dark. I have night vision, so 14, 15, 16 were not good just because mm -hmm. I couldn't see. Yeah. And my husband yelled at me for not stopping, <laughs> but I didn't. Um, so that was a little challenging. And then the rest of the time, I played steady. Mm -hmm. Didn't make anything um, that I usually make. I had a lot of putts under 10 feet that I didn't make, which I normally do. So it could have been a lower, lower round. Yeah. Talk about battling the elements, rain for two days down here. It's patience. I think with being a veteran <laughs> mm -hmm. or a senior, um, you get used to that. You know, I did some work in the delays, got on the phone and um, was able to get into work accounts and things like that. I worked for PGA Magazine, so I spent the time um, doing that. Gotcha. What's next for you? Well, I may go to, um, now everyone's saying go play the South Carolina Open, and then there's the Connecticut Open, because I'm originally from the Northeast, so I'd like to get back up there, but this whole COVID is, you know, it's canceled a lot of events this year, so it's going to be um, a kind of a wait and see. 